Hey y'all. <coughs> hey y'all, welcome to today's video. So today I have something that I am not exaggerating y'all has been sitting here waiting on me to do for so long. I can't even tell you how long it's been. Months and months and months. My friend sells, what's it called? I just forget the name of this. Singents makeup and they make the like lip scents glosses and stuff. So I ordered a couple things. Well, not a couple, couples two. I ordered some things, a few things from her that looked super pretty. If you watched my first impression trying out the products, y'all know I was shocked at how much I actually liked it. So I grabbed a few things that I really felt like I had to get. And then I also grabbed um, a couple of the eyeshadows because she had this look that I was just like, oh my gosh, I love, I have to try it. So the first thing I grabbed was this Color Correct Intended Moisturizer. Y'all, I was blown away at how good this made my skin look. The color was perfect. It was gorgeous. It felt good. It smelled amazing. And it's like good for your skin. So I had to grab this. So I got the color medium. So we're going to go ahead and throw this stuff on and I'm going to do two pumps. And like I said, if y'all watched my video trying this stuff out, I was really shocked at how much I liked it. And I've been dying to get over here and get into this bag and do a video using the rest of these products. Like look how pretty and natural this foundation. Well, it's not, is it foundation? I don't know. It's like a moisturizer. I'm gonna go in with one more pump just cause I like a little more coverage, especially right now with these dry patches I got on my face. And y'all, this stuff smells amazing. Oh, it smells so clean and fresh. I just love, like I remember, <clears throat> <clears throat> I remember loving this sample when she sent it to me. And y'all, this stuff just, I love, love. It smells so good. It feels good and it looks good. Also. I will throw her link down below in the description. So if you're interested in any of these products that I use today, you can shop through her. I didn't get um, any other face products. So I am gonna finish up the rest of my face, come back and we'll test out the eyes and the lips. Okay, so there is the rest of my face makeup pretty much done. So next I'm gonna jump in. Okay, so this is the remover. So that's good to have. Um, to take it off with at the end of the day. Okay, so here's our two eyeshadows. I got the shade Mulberry, which is this super pretty, like almost like a nudish pink. And then I also got the color Moonbeam Shimmer, which looked gorgeous, like just a shimmery, like pretty iridescent color. So let's do a look with this. So I'm thinking, let's shake it up first just cause you never know. So let's go on the outer corner, actually. Go on the outer corner with the darker, well not dark, but mulberry. Where's my fluffy brush? And then I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of just work this all over the outer corner and then blend it like into the crease and onto the lid. Ooh, that's pretty. Got like one out brow hair sticking straight up. Can't deal with that. Okay, so just kind of like that. It's actually a really pretty color. Same thing on this side. I am loving this color. Like in the bottle, it does not look, I don't know, it just doesn't do it justice. Like on the lid, it's so pretty. It's such a pretty color. And I will say out of like liquid eyeshadows, this is one of the easier ones that I have worked with. Some liquid eyeshadows are like, for me personally, like impossible to work with. Either they dry too fast where you can't blend them out. They're too liquidy and then they just like crease all over your eyelid. So this is actually blending pretty good. And it's not like too wet and sticky feeling. It's already dry feeling on my eyelid. But it still gave me time to like play with it and blend it out. So I really like that. I'm going to take just a little bit and try to run it under. Cause I always have to do like a shadow on the bottom lid as well. 
And I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and kind of smoke that out on the bottom lid. Just a little. Same thing on this side. Also, for some reason, um, I feel like when it first goes on, it looks lighter. And then it like, as it dries, it gets darker. So keep that in mind too when you're working with it. And it's not from my makeup brush because I just cleaned my makeup brushes that I am using for this look. So super pretty. You also could probably, what I'm going to try for like over here, I feel like I need to blend this edge just a little. I'm going to put like a dab on my makeup brush and try to use it this way and see. Yeah, so that kind of like blends the edge out a little. Really pretty, like this color a lot. And also my friend, she has like a Facebook group and everything, a Facebook page. So um, she does really pretty looks like almost daily. So y'all can go check out some of the looks that she has done with these cause that's what made me buy them. I was like, oh, that's so pretty. Okay, so next we're gonna take Moonbeam Shimmer and I'm gonna pop this on the inner corner and kind of work it just kind of in this inner corner and then a teeny bit onto the lid like that just to brighten that inner corner. I feel like there is somewhat of like an art to using liquid shadows. I obviously am way better with powders, but I think if you can get it down, they can look really pretty. Hers always looks really pretty. Okay. That's really pretty. Um, clearly, like I said, I am not a pro by any means at anything. Um, and I'm definitely not a pro at using liquid shadows. But for me to be like as weak, I don't know if that's the right word, right word, unskilled, I guess, at using these as I am, I feel like it still looks pretty and um, they're fairly easy to work with compared to other ones I have tried. So what I'm gonna do next is take my pencil brush and just get a teeny bit on my pencil brush just to highlight the brow bone. Look how pretty, so pretty. Um, and the good thing about these is once they're on, they're super long lasting just like the lips, the lips are. So you don't have to worry about it. Um, if you have issues with your eyeshadow, I'm just gonna try to blend this edge a little bit. If you have issues with your eyeshadow rubbing off and things like that, um, then you might like these because they stay put. Okay, so there's both of those, just two colors. Um, and I think it's really pretty. I love those colors. So up next, I've got the lip liner and then I've got some lip color and some lip gloss. So first, I'm gonna shake this real good. Make sure we got it all shook up. Oh, I got to finish my eyeballs. What am I thinking? I gotta do liner and mascara. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. I just threw on some liner and mascara and y'all don't mind my watery eye over here in the corner. It does this all the time, it drives me crazy. But other than that, I think the eyeshadow is really pretty. So now we're ready to move on to this lip liner. So this is the Liner Sense by Sengence and I got the color Neutral. So we're gonna make sure it shook up real good. And then this is really tricky because it's like a super thin little paintbrush, almost like the liners that are very hard for me to use. Um, So I might have to like hold my breath while I do this. That wasn't too bad. Hopefully it's not crooked and it's already feeling dry. So now the top lip, which is the one that always gives me issues. This is definitely one of those things where I feel like I can't really go too crazy and try to like overline my lips because I feel like I would seriously look like a clown. And I also know you're supposed to Go in like one direction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh y'all. <laughs> I am messing up. I need to stop. We've got somewhat of a baseline down. Um, hopefully I can kind of fix it once I fill it in. So next let's go onto our lip scents. This is their long lasting lip color. And I got the shade Pink Champagne. I already have 
the shade Beige Champagne, which I used in my other video, and it was really pretty. And what is in my eyeball? Oh. But I saw Pink Champagne, which isn't that different from Beige Champagne, but I was like, Ooh, that looks really pretty too. So I had to grab it. Okay, so from what I have seen, you're supposed to get like as little product on your brush to start out with, and you are supposed to go in one direction, which for me, that sometimes doesn't work out, but do a thin layer. And then on the top, I cannot start at the corner on the top. I had to start in the middle. And then, oh, we let that dry for a minute. I think it's already dry. And then I'm going to go in with another coat. Okay, let that dry. And then last coat. Okay. All right, then, then you have to put a gloss over top. So this is Praline Matte Gloss because I'm more of a matte person. So don't like a glossy looking lip. But when I saw the matte gloss, I was like, ooh, there is glitter right here and I don't know where it came from. Okay, so shake this one up. Okay, so Praline Matte. Ooh, love this, love. I feel like that made the color like super pretty. I love that color. And the liner, obviously I need some practice with, but overall I think it's pretty. Love this matte gloss. Oh my goodness. So this is our finished look y'all. I think it's gorgeous. Like I said, this foundation is amazing. I feel like it makes your face look just like you have really good skin and it smells good and it's good for your skin. Well, actually I keep saying foundation, but it's a tinted moisturizer, which I definitely need right now being pregnant and having these dry patches and they look so good. So love this. The eyeshadows, like I said, were some of the easiest liquid eyeshadows I have ever used. And look how pretty. Like, I feel like it turned out so pretty. And that inner corner is like, bam. Love. Love, love, love. And then, I would say the star of the show is this praline matte gloss. Like, oh, it just made the lips look so pretty. I love a matte lip. And it feels so good on my lips. My lips feel like... Like they have gloss on them. It's the weirdest thing. They feel moisturized like I have chapstick on. But there's no shine. It's like matte. What the heck? That is insane. I love this. Love this. Okay. So, like I said, hope this video was helpful if y'all have been wondering about some of their products. If you're interested in buying any, shop through my friend Heather's link. I will put down below in the description. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, y'all please subscribe and click the notification bell. And thank y'all so much for watching. I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.